What is up guys, I'm Mr. King Gamma here and I've sorted my computer out now, got a new hard drive in it so I can do more videos and the screen won't go fuzzy or my mic won't go funny as they did in the Far Cry video I did. So now I'm gonna show you my trading method. What you do is set the golden CDM. You're gonna look through the players that's been converted to CDM from centre mid, attacking mid, centre forward, striker. And each club will have players which i I normally went on foothead and looked at the players from that club. And now I automatically know them, so like Stoke, you're looking at Duth, Peter Crouch and Zonzi, which Zonzi is quite a good one, you can pick up for less than a thousand coins sometimes, but it just depends what day, Sunderland, Jack Rodwell can sometimes be alright to pick up, it just depends, I like, like, bid on him, I think I actually do get him in the end, but sometimes it's just luck, depending on the day as well, and oh, just luck really, the time of the day, the day, and players do, people do list the players up for a stupid amount of coins. I've had like um, Sigurdsson of Swansea, I've picked him up for one, 1k, 1.5k bid now, buy now, and I've picked him up, sold him for 3.8, something like that. So and you'll notice that West Brom are quite on all that. I've picked up that Samras before I have for less, I think I picked him up for 1.4k and I sold him for. 3k and uh, Ricky fans fans fault wing call who used to play for noise last season I picked him up for about a thousand coins and as you know he's a striker isn't he and it probably took me about a month but I did sell him for 5.1k which ain't a bad little profit really I would have liked him sold him a little bit quicker but he didn't and as you notice I'm skipping some clubs because I know some clubs are harder to look through as Aston Villa gold you've got um, Delph, and he is a little bitch to fucking buy. As you can see, I bought that guy for 900 coins, and I know I get 1.8 from him. And this Turkish guy, this one, they've under pr underpriced him. If he buy now 250 or whatever, and it's 1.5 to convert him, so why are you listening for 1.5, 1.6? It's stupid, stupid coins to list for someone for. And this Valencia gold player coming up he's normally a centre mid which you know can focus the CDM 1.5k but a shadow costs minimal 3.5k buy now so that's stupid listening for 2k I'm gonna instantly sell him for like 4 4k maybe even 5k later on depending if I want to sell him quick or I want to get my maximum profit it just all depends on what you want really and and that is it some some clubs you'll find I can't miss some clubs you'll find easier to find players like clubs like Flensia you can go through pages and pages and not find anyone or as this gold player you can sometimes you'll not some players you just won't buy that gold player you won't that rare gold you'll never really get him lower than 2k which I've found out really so you just got to be careful and I, I've listed these three guys up before I did this video and sold them. Bought them for less than 1.4k each. Now I'm just going to show me this to them. And you'll notice that I've got loads of Jack Rodwells. And it was just that time of day or that day where some idiot was listing Rodwells for less than 1k. Or buy, bid now, buy now, stuff like that. And you're like, what the hell? And, and you, our silver players, I'll mention this so I don't forget. Silver players. Less people open silver packs, so you can generally op generally put silver players up a little bit more in price. Same with bronze, as I've bought a Arsenal like youngster, the German one. I bought him for less than 1.5k one, one one and I sold him for 3.8s. People will look through him and like, oh, that's the only Arsenal player there, or whatever, and they're looking for him and I'll. They were trying to make a profit or they're going to use him. Either way, you made a profit on him. And I've never not made a profit, apart from the bigger players, as I mentioned there. Like, a player costs like 60k and you're converting him. You're, you want to, you have to sell him for at least like 68k if you want to make a profit. And converting him, I don't think you're going to get that much out of him. So I tend not to go to bigger players. I sometimes will sometimes why it's depending how much I can pick him up for and look this guy was a CAM I picked him up for nothing really and I'll get him 
probably selling for 3.2k around that anyway, which ain't a bad little money maker. And Gomez from Sunderland, as you'll notice that some, like you'll notice players will people will list players up, then when the hour runs out, they'll list list them for even less, list them for even less because they just want to sell them. And sometimes they list them for like that person, they start at 2.8 and I'll go down to 1k and I'll be like, oh yeah, I'll bid for him, I'll bid for him to get him. I don't care if I sell him straight away, it takes me a month. It doesn't really bother me because a profit is a profit and I do want to maximise my profit. Don't underlist people as don't under underprice people like if they're listening for like one point eight which like a gold player really you should a non rare gold player you should really if they're from centimetre to CDM minimum one point eight and people are stupid and listening for one point five. It costs more than one point five to actually buy the player and convert him so don't be stupid and underlist underpriced people and oh what else am I gonna say you see me uh, listing that other Portuguese guy as well which I I will do other um, positions like RM like wing, right winger to RM and that but this is the main one I use and I do find I do get a little bit of nice profits so and now I'll show you what the players sold for so it's probably been about five six days maybe I could have recorded this in four days There's not many more players sold after four days really only like four but I haven't had time so I've timed today so I did it as you can see the CAMs to CDMs have really sold as I've got Gomez like that German club one I've got him and as you can see, Rodwell's are my better players. And out of five pages, as you'll see after I clear all them, I've got two pages left. And there's just a few. As I know that my Lingards are the only ones on the market. My Allen is the cheapest on the market. And so just keep on listing them. If they don't go, don't worry about it. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe.